G'day guys, what's going on? Welcome to this episode of Pete vs Plants. As you can probably guess, I am Pete and the plants are in the box. So I have had this for probably about a week and a half now, just sitting here because I haven't been able to find enough time to plant them all up. As you can imagine, by looking at this, uh, the plants are very, very small currently. In fact, they are only just germinating. So, as you guys are probably aware by now, seeing as I've put out a few videos about anthuriums, it's happened. I have, I have thrust myself into the rabbit hole that is anthuriums and I am trying to calm my farm and not send my family into excessive debt. But it is hard guys, it is hard. I, you, you probably know what it's like. There is a lot to learn and there is a lot to buy and there is a lot to grow and there is a lot to kill. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of what's been keeping me away from anthuriums until recently, but I finally got one and was just like, where, her, where, where has this been all my life? I have had an anthurium shaped hole in my world for a long time. I didn't even know it. Anyway, rant aside, I have tried to calm my farm, stay controlled, stay composed and lash out only a minimal amount of money on some anthuriums so that I can kind of cut my teeth and learn about them. And so I have bought a bunch of seeds here. So I saw this come up and I thought, it's a pretty good deal, I'll jump on it. It was a dollar a seed. I think it was about 50 bucks, postage on top for 50 seeds for four crosses. So I have here Luxurians times Chris times Pap. So I think that's Luxurians times Crystallinum times Papalilimum, Papalanimum, Probably my favorite anthurium, but I always forget the freaking name. It's this beautiful dark anthurium, Papillomimulum. Yeah, that's it. Nailed it. So I've got those, and I was gonna say the thing that annoys me about the three-way cross thing here is that you know that one of the parents is across here, but you don't know which one. There needs to be brackets or something. Like I think, guys, we need to work on the nomenclature of hybrids or cultivars when it comes to three or five or six. Well, but no odd crosses. So is the parent the Luxurians and it's crossed with a Chris times Pap or is it a Luxurians times Chris crossed with a pure Pap? I don't know. Either way, all three of those are beautiful plants. So I'm looking forward to growing these out and seeing what happens. We have some Dark Knights here. I don't know much about these guys. And again, I'll put the photo, you've probably already seen, but I'll put the photos of what the parent plants look like on here and I'll see if I can find hybrids of these, but I don't know if that's, yeah, going to be possible. Uh, we have some Forgetti Eye Crosses as well. And we have a Hoffmanni Eye Cross too. There's Peaches. She's my guard dog. So she's always chilling out here watching for parcels. And she lets me know if someone comes because you suddenly hear... And she bails. Don't you, Peaches? Yeah. So yeah, anyway, I was umming and ahhing about what to do with these guys, which is why we're here and it's been a few weeks and these guys have been sitting in a sort of dark spot, just germ, well, not germinating. Germinating, is it? No, yeah, sort of growing, right? I'm having a slow day, guys. I haven't had enough caffeine. So they have been all popping. It looks like we've got a pretty good success rate here. I will open them up and work out what we're doing. I think the plan is going to be to chuck them into these higher Chinese food containers, taller. Chinese food containers, and no, I'm not a racist. That's just what we call them here in Australia because I believe Chinese takeaway shops are the first shops to start implementing these in Australia. So yeah, we just call them Chinese food containers. Okay, guys, okay? Don't cancel me. So I've got four of these and I was gonna do a little experiment, but I'm kind of pressed for space and time. And yeah, so I was gonna try out sphagnum moss versus perlite in these uh, little kind of prop boxes, I guess, to see which would be better because I've heard it's a real pain in the ass if you put these seeds in um, sphagnum moss and allow them to kind of develop a decent root system in there because then it becomes a nightmare for pulling them apart. Whereas if you do it with perlite, the perlite effectively washes off. The only thing I'm sort of worried about is I haven't really used perlite like that before. I've got one perlite prop box and it seems to be, it seems to have worked okay, but it was a bit slower than the, the uh, moss ones that I've kind of cut my teeth on and learnt to use pretty well. Um, so I'm just hoping I do not kill these guys. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just have to pull my thumb out and monitor them well. All right, so I've got these four containers. I've got the four lots of seeds. I don't think we have even numbers of all of these. I don't think you can divide four into 50, can you? Yeah. Um, so I am expecting 
to sort of have anywhere between 15 and 10 seeds per lot to chuck in here. But I was going to say, yeah, it seems that that's a really good way of getting into anthuriums, albeit a bit slower. If you get seeds, you can obviously grow out loads of these plants and you can see the different kind of phenotypes that you're going to get, right? The variation that you will get because you've got seedlings that have often come from crosses. And I think even if you were to have seeds that have come from a self plant or even two plants of the same species, you will still have variation just because of recombination taking place when the seeds are fertilized, right? So that's where the, the genomes of both parent plants kind of get jumbled up and mixed together and you end up with potentially different expressions of each parent's, well, different combinations of each parent's genes uh, mixed together. So yeah, um, I'll go get the perlite. What was I saying? Yeah, so it's a good way of getting into these plants. They're cheap and affordable. You can often find them for anywhere between, you know, a dollar to five dollars a seed, depending on what it is. You can find them in Facebook groups. People are going crazy with anthuriums and crosses and, you know, getting inflorescences and pollinating and everything like that. So there are definitely loads of seeds you can find online. And I think it's just a really cool way to get in there, cut your teeth, start learning about them, grow them out and um, kill a bunch while they're cheap <laughs> and hopefully work out what works best in your environment uh, as you grow them out. And yeah, I think you're gonna feel a lot more satisfied too when you get a really big one and you know, I grew that from a tiny, tiny little seed. That was me, that was me, motherfucker. All right, so I'm gonna go get my um, perlite and I'll be back at a tickamaroo. So I had had this draining in another pot this size with probably about, I don't know, two thirds full of water. It had been sitting there for about 10 minutes just to make sure that one, the dust had come out of the perlite and I wasn't gonna breathe that in when playing with it. And two, hopefully it's soaked up quite a bit of water and is already yeah, saturated so that when I put it into these guys, I don't really have to water it. I think what you can do obviously is just keep an eye on the level of the water because there's probably quite a bit in here that will sink down once you put it into these containers. And obviously if it's too high, you can try and let some of that water out. And if it's too low or there is none, you can put a bit more water in there. You just have to make sure that I reckon once the lid's on here, there's condensation on all the surfaces so that you know that it's at 100% humidity within your little prop box here. If it's not, it could be a bit too dry. I think it's gonna be trial and error. I'm no expert with perlite, but that's, that's what I'm guessing based on what I know about using prop boxes and sphagnum moss. Now, I've just realized I haven't given myself an implement to spoon this out. I would do this with my hands, but I actually really, really, really hate the feeling of wet perlite on your hands. And I'll show you, I'll, I'll take one for the team and I'll show you why, right? So it sticks to your fingers like this and it just has this really weird tactile kind of ugh, feeling about it that just gives me goosebumps and I don't think it's a phobia. I don't know if there's a phobia for perlite. There probably is, but it just, just grosses me out a bit. So yeah, that's why I don't like playing with it with my hands. And it's like, you have to, the only way you can get it off your hands is really to give it a rinse after you've finished. Okay. So I think I'm not gonna really be too shy with how much perlite I use in these little boxes and what I just say, and now I'm touching it. I think I'm gonna put in there about, I don't know, two or three centimeters worth. Just to make sure again, you probably want a certain threshold of perlite so that it is holding a certain amount of moisture, right? If you only had like, you know, a small layer of half a centimeter on the bottom, it's probably not gonna hold onto enough water to really keep those seeds moist. It could all end up in the air inside the box here or escape through gaps and your seeds could dry up really quickly. So that's something you need to be aware of. The seeds effectively, you know, the, the, the concept here is that you just need moisture around the seeds and the seeds roots, the seedlings and their roots, so that they can grow adequately. If that moisture disappears or if there's too much of it, the plants are gonna have a bad time. So yeah, anyway, I'm sure you guys know all this. So I'm spooning up a bunch. What am I doing, about four spoons per prop box and I'm trying to grab some from the bottom because the water has already kind of started pooling at the bottom of that container. Come off the spoon, mate. Okay, maybe a, a la halfa. All right, so about that. I might just end up using everything here once I've made sure that I have enough for all four and then we'll, yeah, partition it four ways evenly. So there may be a bit more in each one. Guess we'll see. 
Again, as I always say, guys, if you've got tips and tricks for doing this, please, for the love of God, leave it in a comment below. Let me know, send me a message, whatever, because I'm still 100% a noob here. I'm learning and I do not want to obliterate 50 seeds that I just got. So if I am doing anything incredibly dumb, or if you just have a much better method for dealing with seeds for anthuriums and how to get them to grow quickly at this early stage of life, please don't be shy. Please let me know what I can do better. And sorry if there's a whole bunch of noise from moving all this stuff around. Okay, so we have a bit left over. I don't know if I really, do I need it? I might put one more in each just because. Because I'm such a generous guy. There you go, keep the change. You filthy animal. <laughs> Man, I haven't watched Home Alone in so long. Like Macaulay Culkin is probably what, 50 now? I haven't watched it in so many years. Keep the change, you filthy animal. Merry Christmas. Boom, 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 and a happy new year, you filthy animal. <laughs> uh. it, just, it was just one and two that he was in, right? And then the third one was some other kid and you were just like, yeah, okay, he's, he's gotten a bit too old. So he's like, Macaulay Culkin, 18 years old, home and alone. Doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> like, come over guys, it's time for a frat party. We're gonna get messed up. <laughs> uh, all right. Marv. <laughs> uh, trip down memory lane, huh guys? You get so imprinted upon by those movies of when you are a child that, you know, it's one of those things I always wondered. I'm like, why are all these old people, these parents, you know, when I was a kid, they're all freaking obsessed with the Beatles and Led Zeppelin. Why don't they listen to any new music? And it's not that they're necessarily stuck in their ways. It's, I think, more that they were listening to this music and really, really connecting with it during their formulative years, right? F formulative? Formative? Formative years? And it's the same for me. I'm not listening to Taylor Swift and, you know, I don't know, whoever else is out there now, Justin Bieber and all that crap. And I, anytime I do, I'm just like, well, oh, the music shit back in my day. Back in my day, musicians knew how to write a song. So it's funny catching myself doing that now and I'm like, damn, I've become my parents. I've become my parents. All right, so we have here the Lux, Chris, and Pap. And I have to obviously make sure that I don't lose these. Uh, what am I gonna do? I need a pen. I probably have to label. You got a pen up here somewhere? What are you doing, guys? I have to label these uh, pots so that I don't mix them up. Okay, so Lux times Chris times Pap. Pap's blue ribbon. Okay, so there's that one. What's the other one? Dark Knight. <laughs> Feels like Batman. That has to be named after Batman, right? God, I miss Heath Ledger. He just crushed it. What a way to go out. 27 years old and he did that Joker. My God, what a, what a freaking legend. Imagine what he would be doing today though, if he was still around. I've, I, I reckon I cried, guys, when he died. That was so sad. Oh, Jesus Christ, don't mix painkillers and alcohol. Hoffmanii times, okay. All right. So, also what do I need? I probably need to not take my toes off. Oh, you know what? These will probably do. I need some tweezers so that I can grab the seeds out easily because I have fat fingers. All right. So these have just been in Ziploc bags, obviously in paper toweling that has been pretty wet. And it looks like they have done, it has done a pretty good way of germinating the seeds. So I, th I reckon we've almost got 100% here, at least with these uh, three-way cross. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 seeds. And they have all, enjoy the top of my head whilst I have a closer look, all of them, all of them guys have taken. So I wonder if I can show you this without dropping them off the paper towel. This is a bit risky, but I'm gonna try and do it for you guys. Can you see that? I wonder if you can see them. All of them have germinated. So winner, winner, chicken dinner. 
I'm going to try and I guess put these guys into, into this bed of perlite. I'm trying to sort of pat it down because it's a bit, it's a bit, um, the topology of the perlite is a little bit up and down all over the shop. So, okay. Uh, oh, this is actually harder than expected. They, the fairy nifts of the seed has grabbed onto the paper towel. Okay, so I'm just pushing these down and I know that you can't see anything that I'm doing here. Maybe I'll give you a closer look. Are you ready? <laughs> Jesus, that was creepy. All right, all right. Can you see? Can you see what I see? There we go, all right. Hopefully, you know what? I can probably get you a bit higher and let you see, look down from above. Does that, does that help? <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's hard for me to tell what you guys are looking at because I can't really see the screen, but hopefully you can see what's going on here. I'll have to try and bring this a little closer to myself. So I'm effectively grabbing the anthurium seeds with the tweezers like so, and then trying to make sure that that little root is facing down as I chuck it into the perlite. So I'm not sort of sinking it down too, too hard. It'll grow down into the perlite, should be all right. And as long as it's obviously in contact with the perlite or pretty close to, it should stay hydrated. Jesus, talk about finicky. Okay. So hopefully this works well, guys. Again, I am not sure how it's gonna go, but I have a good feeling about it. So fingers crossed, I can get the sort of hydration optimal for these guys and that they all thrive. Cause yeah, it would be great if every single one of them survives and to have them as plants that I can grow out and either sell or choose the best lookers for, from, and create, you know, my own hy hybrids in the future. So I'm gonna have my own little harem of anthuriums. I wonder if that sentence has ever been uttered. I'm gonna have my own little harem of anthuriums that I will be able to cross with only the prettiest of anthurium males. I guess we'll see what happens. Too much caffeine, not enough caffeine. Uh, okay, get in there. I might just fast forward this for you guys. Uh, spare you having to listen to me rant. I wonder how much I'm actually overthinking this. You guys are probably like, you can just throw them in there, you know, they'll be fine. <laughs> they'll survive, dude. Just take a chill pill, calm your farm. You'll be sweet. Okay, so there's the first one done. And I guess I'm just gonna leave it like this. So I'm gonna keep an eye on it and just see if the condensation, you know, works its way up on all the edges in the roof of this little box here. And yeah, hopefully it's got enough moisture in there. If not, I'll just add a bit more water. I think that should be all right, but that's number one. And I guess we're just gonna continue with this process and um, I'm gonna speed it up for you guys. Otherwise you are going to just be listening to me heavy breathing whilst I try and tweezer the other, what, 31 seeds into each of these respective containers. So I will see you when we're done and we will finish up the video. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Oh no, that sucks. Just ripped the head off one of them and the root came off, bugger. Okay, we're all done. So I've spared you the heavy breathing of me just going <laughs> as I was trying to work out how many I had and position them all in place. So we have 30, 42, uh, 44, 64 in reality. So I did, even with postage, end up paying about a dollar for each seed. It was 65 all up. So I am just gonna keep these guys under a grow light now and um, we'll see how they go. Fingers crossed they grow quickly. Again, if you guys have any advice, leave it in the comments below. And besides that, check this video out and I'll see you next time. Catch ya.